past one year since I began this show, viewers, I have never, ever been this angry. Is it any wonder that every conversation we have in our country is about religion? That every conversation in our country is about our differences? That all types, we've, we've just been taught to hate each other? We've been taught that the Muslims are, are violent, that the Christians want to convert everybody, that the Hindus want to take over. Who's teaching us this? Stop for a second and ask yourself, who's teaching us this? When was the last time you had a decent conversation from a politician about jobs, about farmers? about demonetization for heaven's sake we currently have a situation where the finance minister the rbi governor and the economic advisor to the government are making statements about each other like the three of them cannot get on a phone call and sort out their differences who's going to talk about that who's going to talk about the fact that every day in our newspaper there is a new story about banks that are losing money our money who's willing to have that conversation Governments are supposed to supply us with education, with health, with clean air, clean water and affordable food. This is the basic requirement. There isn't a single thing on that list that any one Indian is getting today. Do you realize that? The richest Indian in our country doesn't have clean air. No clean water, no education, no health, no food. When are we going to talk about that? Because all they want to talk about is our caste and our religion and our differences and what is going to make me, make me what for him instead of him. We're not individuals to these people. We're not human beings. Our families don't matter. The amount of time you spend in your office earning money to pay your taxes don't matter to these people. They see you as a vote to be manipulated during each election. And they send you WhatsApp messages telling you how to hate somebody else. WhatsApp messages. I'll give you an example, viewers. There was a WhatsApp message that did the rounds about the BBC calling the BJP the most corrupt party. Exactly six months later, that same WhatsApp message did the rounds about the BBC calling the Congress the most corrupt party. Both of those were lies. They were designed to make you think a certain way because these people think we're idiots. And there has never been more proof of the fact that they are manipulating us. We need to reject them. Every conversation that you want to have about my religion, go to hell. My religion is not your business. My caste is not your business. The air pollution is your business. The water pollution is your business. The fact that over a third of this country goes to bed without food is your business. The children under the age of five in this country are still dying for avoidable diseases is still your business. No education, no health, and this is what you people are doing. Election after election, election after election. I make a promise to my viewers today. We are going to dedicate time and energy and people into busting every single lie because we will not bow down and let you sell our democracy for your cheap political gains. All of you, whoever you are, bring it on. Bring on your lies. Mira now is waiting.